What's going on? It's Josh Tom. Today we're going to be talking about how you can convert your video into a stop motion clip using a few effects from Premiere Pro. Let's check it out. Okay, yeah, I regret doing this one. That was that was pretty weird. Let's boot up Premiere Pro and I'll show you how to do it. Alright, so we've opened Premiere Pro. As you can see, we've got our clip running on the timeline as though it were normally timed. And the first thing I'm gonna do to this clip, and it depends on what you want to do with each clip, but with this one, I'm actually gonna speed it up and I'm gonna make it two times faster. So I'm gonna go 200 and let's see what that looks like. See, that's looking a lot better. The problem with doing a video to stop motion is that you need to show that you intentionally tried to make it stop motion. Quite often when you see things that are kind of a weird frame rate, it looks like someone just shot it in the wrong frame rate. So you have to find that fine line between something that's art and something that just looks like it's poorly done. Hopping into the effects panel, we're gonna type in posterize and we're not gonna click posterize, we're gonna click posterize time. I'm gonna drag it right on top of our clip and we're gonna go to the effects control tab. So scroll down at the bottom, you're gonna have effects or uh, posterize time and frame rate. Now this, this is where things get a little strange because if you filmed in 30 frames per second, this isn't gonna show 24 at a frame rate, it's gonna show 30. I shoot everything in 24 frames per second or 23.976, so it's going to show 24 for me. That means that every second there are 24 cells that my eye sees. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut down the number of cells that it sees so that it looks lagged or slowed behind showing a stop motion video. Now for this particular clip, I'm actually going to go all the way down to 3 frames per second because I think that that kind of looks a lot like stop motion. I do recommend going three frames to seven frames per second when you're doing this, and this is the end result. Wait, 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 I'm gonna color grade it, I'm gonna make it look good, and then it'll be exactly what I showed you at the beginning of the video. Check it out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This is my first ever tutorial on YouTube. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.